Okay, so wait, let's see here. Maraming welcome sa inyong lahat. I am going to be making this um, for very first vlog of mine. I've been putting it off for a long time. It's in a very long time. But um, I, I suppose what I should do is just don't do a whole lot of editing. Um, so that I can post it sooner. You know, I'll just, uh, I'll, I won't do a whole lot of editing. This will be very raw. And um, yeah. Ito naman yung vlog ko kasi um, or dapat mapaliwanag sa inyong lahat uh, uh, kasi bago naman yung channel na ito this is the first video and so um, gusto ko makuntahan sa inyong lahat and, uh, na, uh, first of all, hindi naman perfect akong Tagalog pero uh, oh my god, I'm so haggard <laughs> and the king of Haggard. It's not a competition, but I won already. Um, but yeah, so this is my first vlog, and I'm going to make it very poor on purpose because I see a lot of people begin very perfectly, and um, they begin to, you know, decline in effort, decline in quality, and it just kind of goes nowhere. So I decided it's a lot better to start from the bottom start from nothing it's a lot better to start um period than uh you know get a headache trying to start perfectly and then see everything go downhill so here i am uh yes there's a knife on the wall not on it's just kind of hanging there you know I, I like to have it uh just in case there's an intruder or something like that so don't be telling the people that I rent this place from that there's just kind of a knife hanging on the wall because in the room there's a nail anyway uh yeah just don't let people know but yeah I put stuff in my wall that's kind of interesting the place is a mess my face is a mess I haven't washed my face yet today um and overall this vlog is not going to be a whole lot much except for giving me an opportunity to start from something uh, so you, can, you might not even be able to see my face that well right now, but I haven't shaved, and we'll see if that actually improves over time. Um, and yeah, I live in a studio apartment. So if anything, this video is going to give people out there faith that they can absolutely get on camera, because a lot of people are, are not going to start a vlog because they're camera shy or something like that. Um, so if anything, I want to give you faith that you can do it. Excuse me. By doing it myself. Uh, because overall, I feel like the biggest problem in uh, people that, who, are, who are not successful, who amount to nothing, is because they never start doing anything. You know, they might just follow the crowd and do the college thing, which, by the way, is not for everybody. I'll run about that another time. Um, but yeah, so I want to just kind of tell you guys a little bit about what this channel probably will be about. Probably what it might be. Because it might not be actually one thing I'll throw out. I know for a fact that I'm going to be living elsewhere in the future. I, right now, a little bit about myself, live in the United States of America. Land of the free. I'm very proud of it. My family came here uh, almost 100 years ago. Or probably, probably over that, right? Um, to escape... Uh, well, I mean, uh, the, the, the large part of my family is Swedish, so so from Sweden, people came uh, to escape being forced into one religion at the time, I believe was uh, Lutheranism, um, and they came to America for a better life. So, so my Swedish side of the family, which is the biggest one, um, I'm just kind of, I think it's important to remember where you come from. Because if you forget, that's where you kind of end up in these uh, these bigger messes that people are in. Because um, America does happen to have a lot of people who have mixed mixed ethnicities. I'm one of them. Uh, but it's important to identify kind of who got you where you are today, no matter where you are in the world. Because uh, chances are, if you are in a country like the United States, the UK, Canada, uh, or any of these other you know Western westernized uh, cities, chances are somebody got you there and gave everything to be there. So, I mean, if you didn't yourself, by the way, which of course you should not forget. 
doing what you've done to get there. But uh, especially if there's people before you, before your parents, who you probably never even met in person, like me, my my uh, my great grandmothers from uh, from Sweden, they they uh, they sadly didn't pass on a whole lot of our culture except for eating a lot and certain tea recipes and uh, watching Donald Duck on uh, on Christmas Eve, but. Um, I've uh, been able to learn some on my own. And I want to take this video as a, also a chance to encourage you, if you don't know a whole lot about your heritage, to get to know that a little bit, because you get to know a little bit about yourself that maybe you didn't know. Um, and self-exploration is always a great way to, to fill the time when you feel like you haven't really fulfilled um, where you're supposed to be. Because a lot of the time it's hard to know where you're supposed to be if you don't know where you came from. Um, and especially here in the U.S., if you're living here in the U.S., then you need to know where you came from, because chances are, either land was stolen from your people, which is a very small percentage of who's going to be viewing this, um, or you have a family who migrated here, one way or another. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit controversial the issue, but um, I'm not going to get into that right now. Uh, because this uh, this channel is actually going to have a mostly uh, Eastern audience the way that I plan things out because I'm going to be going to um, Makati Philippines and probably guess one future in, in the future so you notice I began the video in Filipino and, and, and some of you will recognize that some won't um, but uh, I'll probably be doing a lot of vlogging in Filipino and English back and forth so I'm just uh, telling you that right now there might be some subtitles sometimes. I, I, I always love how Will, Will Dasevich does his vlog. Sometimes there's like subtitles so people can kind of watch. In his earlier ones, it's a little bit hard to follow through because the, a lot of them don't have the subtitles, so you don't have no idea what anyone's saying. And then there's even like slang that you wouldn't understand, e even, if, uh, even if you are studying Tagalog, which I highly suggest that if you decide that you want to do that, then um, you use... Uh, friendships with actual people rather than a textbook because it's an ever-evolving language and so you're gonna sound like a super old guy if you use textbooks to learn Tagalog but um yeah just make more Filipino friends I mean even if you don't want to learn Tagalog make more Filipino friends you probably will on accident learn Tagalog uh, but just for, for life in general if you want to meet people who are um, who just love to be human and love to do things that make you human love to dance love to sing love to love to uh just do everything that's part of being a human being which is what friends are for make more filipino friends that's my life advice for the day <laughs> uh, but anyway i love you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next episode. I have no idea what it's going to be, but I will see you there.